A man from Mobile arrested for indecent exposure at a YMCA in Sarah Land is back at it again, this time at a YMCA in Daphne, according to police. As WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams reports, police really want to get this guy off the streets. Indecent exposure may be considered by some as a minor crime, but police say if you consider Devin Hill's criminal history, there's nothing minor about it. This is an image of Devin Hill as he checked into the YMCA Friday morning and headed to the pool area where he spent hours before allegedly exposing himself to at least two people. Two primary victims. One is the, uh, the lifeguard who he exposed himself to and then a second victim is a lady that was actually in the hot tub and he, he had some contact with her also that was verbal but it was still, um, still harassing in nature. What makes him so dangerous, according to police, is his extensive criminal history. He served almost two decades in prison for a murder um, in 1999. He does have a, a prior arrest um, out of Sarah Land from late last year for indecent exposure. Vinoy says while in prison, he had multiple disciplinary reports for doing the same thing. I can certainly say that he, he is without a doubt a recidivist. Predatory behavior that police want to stop. Looks like it's been an ongoing problem for his basically his entire adult life. Police say that Hill is known to use the alias Timothy Rodman. He has connections in Daphne, Foley, and in Mobile. If you know where he is or where police can find him, you're asked to call Daphne Police. On the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.